हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू प्लानिंग पी सिक्स होप यू आर डूइंग वेल एंड वी आर टुडे हेयर टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रिसोर्स कर ऑप्शन और फीचर हाउ टू यूज इट हाउ इट्स वर्क इन प्राइमोग्राफी पी सिक्स डू यू नो हाउ टू जनरेट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ रिसोर्स कार इन प्राइमोग्राफी पी सिक्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस Let's move and open where this feature or option is located in Primography Six. Open your Primography Six. Go to the Enterprise and second lot the uh, last option is Resource Curves. Open it. Here you can see this option is located. Basically, Resource Curves are used to model the resource or cost distribution of an activity within the project schedule. Depending on the distribution type, Resource Curves can be linear, backloaded, frontloaded, triangular, and etc. If you have an activity with a non-linear resource loading, it is possible to create a custom resource curve to model its resource distribution. In this tutorial, we will discuss and generate how to create, assign custom resources curve by using the Oracle Primography Six Resource Curve feature. So, why do we use resource curves of Primography Six in the work schedule? if the resource loading or cost loading of an activity is not uniform resource curves can be used to represent a real distribution for example let's say here this activity excavation you are sure that in the beginning the productivity will less in the middle productivity will more and at the end then the productivity will be again in the less in the project there is a once time or in activity one time where the productivity is on peak level if the productivity is on peak level or crossing the limits it means your curves or your schedule is not good and it has a some uh, resources not leveled leveled because the productivity or the peak level must be one then you can say your project planning is very good in order to model a rare resource loading in primography 6 you can select the suppose uh, any of this curves you have the too many these curves in the default and now we will go and select how to create how to assign an activity and how we can modify the curves in primography 6 and what is the purpose how we can see that one so here first of all here there is a find option if you have too many curves you can find from here and then next is the print preview option you can have option to see the print preview of this specific window only you can print and use by in hard form and table font and row if you want to change this table fonts and row you can change from here okay now these are the default you cannot modify this one if you we go to modify this one these are default and we cannot modify these curves by because these are locked by primogra what we will do we will go and add from here select one of the uh, s curve from here resource curve from here you can see double peak or early peak okay add it now you can see here the new resource has been added in global in global new resources added just say example you can give the resource name something example example curve okay this example curve we will modify it modify it now you can see this is duration percent and curve value how you can change it it will be changed suppose you can say here in the uh, first you can say 0.5 how much is duration it will be divided accordingly if you have 100 days it will be divided accordingly if you have 30 days one day 50 minutes only it the resource curve will be divided accordingly which we are putting the values here then little bit increase productivity is now increasing then when we reach to 1 and then we reach to 1.5 and here you can say 2 now 
now four now six nine twelve and then after the twelve you can say eighteen whatever you want you can manage by here twenty after the twenty you can say here uh, seven and now 3.8 you can say here 4 and uh, 2.9 the value must here be 100 you can see here now the value is 100 here now this shape of curve is generated you can see here it is alarming that where is your value is you can see when you go here This is how you can do the value. Copy from if you have from any of curve, you can copy from that curve and you can use it. Okay. After the changing values, whatever you desired, you can put here. Modify resource curve. Okay. Click OK. Now this resource curve have been modified. You can delete or add more as curve to many as uh, resource curves. No issue. You can add whatever you want. Close this window. After the closing we must go to the excavation activity and go to the resources which we have assigned already in the resources tab here you have to right click on it and search here curve curve option here you can see curve is here close it move that other side and close it here is curve apply okay now we are going to assign the curve here okay the activity duration type must be fixed so with status we will go to the activity type task dependent fixed okay resources now go and check your curve wherever it's you can assign from the default whatever you can select from here example curve assign it this curve now it has been assigned for this specific resource okay now we will go here to activity usage profile if you see here this is our activity usage profile for the entire project so if we have we want to select the time scale as uh, you can say week per day or month week month week apply okay now you can see the our activity usage profile here and if we go to the selected activity this one is excavation selected activity and this how it's work it will be if we open the over allocation of the sorry go to the here by the filter by current project resources and here as well for the current project resources this for this activity is you can see here this one options show limit show our allocation apply now you can see here that the specific resources are over allocation is there because we have assigned for this one if we go here which resource is assigned v2 labor here we come again v2 labor now you can see here we assign to the excavation activity that as curve that's why it's showing the over allocation here selected activity this is over allocated according to our schedule and this linear curve will be go like that because this activity original duration has one if we increase by five now you can see it is going like that because we have selected week month if we select on from here time scale as a per day week day one apply and okay now you can see here our first limit is that and one is the peak point then it's com comparatively coming how we create the curve this curve if we see
you can see if you see here sorry if we see here modify it okay if you see first is a very low and then it's increase at that level it will be increased increase what we have assigned here and then it's comparatively coming back like that that is way how we can create or modify the curves by using the Pramamira P6 resource curve feature hopefully this tutorial is helpful for you people to create different resources you can create different resources for different activities for all activities resources you can uh, suppose that for this you can assign any other curve okay just simply you have to change here the in the from the activity duration type fixed to unit and time and then come to here and double peak okay assign assign then you can see from here as well selected activity all in activities or selected activities move forward where it is and for this one this you can see here the what is the slab beam and steel works steel works this is now you can see here the resource over allocation is also showing and the curve how it's going double peak it's called double peak it's going two times up it means it's a double peak curve is allocated double peak because we have assigned here the double peak curve you can see double peak if we go here enterprise and resource curve in the see the double peak modify but it will not modify but it has two peaks two peak time here it's come here go to the peak and then low down and again peak and then low down that's why it's showing like that this one this one a double peak activity that's why it's over allocation you can control your resources by the this resource curve feature so resource curve feature offers several default curves for representing the resource loading and activity there are 12 this one 12 default curves these are 12 defined in the primavera p6 software it is possible to create a specific resource curve as i show you hopefully you can create and get benefit from here please like share and comment on our tutorials thanks for watching allah hafiz